Okay, hello dear friends. Good evening. The other day I found this problem and it's quite interesting. So I would like to expand it a little bit and share with you some of my thoughts on this. So first me let me try to read it. Log 7 4 log d 7 4 it's very difficult to read log of base 7 minus 4 root 3 of 7 plus 4 root 3. Okay, so you can use a scientific calculator and figure out this number and, uh, and use log method to figure it out. This is one way. Another way, you look at this number and look for something interesting about these two numbers. These two numbers, they are real numbers. They are real numbers, but they are irrational. 4 root 3 is irrational because it cannot be, it is not expressed by two numbers fractioning each other, dividing each other. and uh, But they are conjugate between each other. And we know one thing, whenever you see this kind of sign, same number, one plus sign, one positive, one negative, you just automatically think about uh, rationalize it. And it can be rationalized. 7 times 7 equal to 49. And the square of 4 root 3 equal to, and here is the negative sign, 4 times 4 is 16. And root 3 times root 3 is 3, so 49 minus 48 equal to 1. Oh, how interesting. If the two numbers multiply each other equal to 1, it means these two numbers between each other, they are the reciprocal of the other number. So it means 7 minus 4 root 3 equal to 7 plus 4 root 3. 1 over 7 plus 4 root 3. And also you can express this as This one is 7 plus 4 root 3 to the power of negative 1. Right? So 7 minus 4 root 3 equal to 7 plus 4 root 3 to the power of negative 1. And the same thing you can write. 7 plus 4 root 3 equal to 7 minus 4 root 3 to the power of negative 1. So they are... They are reciprocal right because they are reciprocal so when we have this one figured out what we can do so log 7 minus 4 root 3 and this number 7 plus 4 root 3 
equal to log the base we do not change 7 minus 4 root 3 times this one we can change into 7 minus 4 root 3 to the power of negative 1. They have the base and this number is the same. So it is negative 1. So the result is negative 1. And from this, I was thinking, you can figure out just the following numbers, the conjugate numbers. 1, we do not need to say, 2 minus, I will use minus, 2 minus root 3, 2 plus root 3, 3, 三三得九, minus 2 root 2, 3 plus 2 root 2. Those are the reciprocals. This and this is reciprocal, reciprocal, because 2 minus root 3 times 2 plus root 3 equal to 1. 4 minus um, 四四十六, root 15, 4 plus root 15, 5, 24, 24, minus 2 root 6, 5 plus 2 root 6, 6, 35, minus root 35, 6 plus root 35, 7, already here, minus 4 root 3, 7 plus 4 root 3, 8 minus 六九, 3 root 7, 8 plus 3 root 7, 9 minus 4 root 5, 9 plus 4 root 5. These are the reciprocal numbers. You can keep on writing 10 minus 99 is 3 root 11. 10 plus 3 root 11. So in algebra, this is a very, very important concept that is to to, to rationalize a number. And uh, in for these are the real numbers you need to rationalize. And the complex complex numbers also have this uh, uh, conjugate, complex conjugate. For example, one plus i, one minus i, 2 plus i, 2 minus i. These are the, some of the important number we, we, we kind of see a pattern. I do not have enough knowledge to understand the deep, profound meaning application of it, but I just feel the number is such an elegant and beautiful thing. And uh, I enjoy finding these interesting numbers. Two root two, sorry. Two root two, I wrote it wrong. Thank you very much. I love you, I really do. I enjoy this. Bye bye.